I'm an engineer. I'm an addicted engineer. I'm not just a vocational engineer. I've been doing engineering my whole life, and when I get done doing it at work, I go home and do more of it. 20 years ago, I had a problem where I needed to fix a monitor and I needed a pattern generator. Rather than buy a new one, I designed a board for a couple of bucks that did the job for me. 15 years ago, my wife was grinding glass with a glass grinder that had the head sitting in water. It got stuck every time. I built a little head puller to pop the thing off. That way she didn't have to call me every time it needed removing. Five years ago, I was doing an electric car and needed a way to keep track of a bank of 24 batteries. Designed a little circuit, displayed graphically four batteries. You could put them all together. I had one panel displaying all 24 batteries. When one died, I knew it right then and there. I found out about maker spaces and hacker spaces. These are groups of people that go ahead and join together, pitch in a little money every month, and rent a building to be able to work on these projects, whether it's electronic stuff, whether it's using a milling machine, whatever they needed. We built one here in Milwaukee called Milwaukee Makerspace. And when I started going there, I realized I'm not the only engineer like this. The place is full of them. Every week something new pops out of that place. That's a cool idea. That's a cool solution to a problem. It's a great product if only we could find a way to sell it and market it. That's the challenge. And Milwaukee Makerspace isn't the only one around. There's dozens of them in the Midwest, hundreds of them in the States, and thousands of them worldwide, all full of these engineers cooking up one-off solutions to all sorts of problems. Things that could be marketed, but because there's nobody to do it, it doesn't happen. So what's the plan? The plan is to find a way to take these individual designs, take this input from all these engineers, all this free engineering, and go ahead and make products that we can produce and sell. You're going to have to start out with the ideas, get stuff from engineers, take it and polish it a little bit, not to full product level. What you do then is you go ahead and create something called a Kickstarter. There's a website called Kickstarter where anybody can go on there put together a project, whether it's financing a band's first album or making a product and selling the first hundred pieces. You set it up on there and people go ahead and pre-buy your product. If you sell enough to meet your goal, you get the money, you sell the products, and you make it for them. If you don't make your goal, people get their money back and your project doesn't launch. This allows you to take any product and pre-sell it before you have to manufacture it. You don't even have to do the full engineering. As long as you've got a good prototype and a good write-up, you can market anything this way. Then you're going to take it and go ahead and do the full engineering. You're going to need someone to do engineered for manufacturability. You're going to have to design boards, design cases, order parts, all of these things, have kits or products assembled, put all those pieces together. And then you've got to market it. And this is one of the things that the internet has given us lately. You've got the ability to go ahead and blog about what you're doing. You've got the ability to go to the websites for different groups. If you've got a Civil War re uh, recreated pistol that you want to sell, you go to Civil War reenactment websites and blog about it. People will go ahead and find you. It gives you a way to take a narrow marketable product and shoot it to the people who are actually going to be interested in it. I'm not some genius futurist who thinks I've got the next iPod figured out. I'm not some super scientist that has a solution to the energy crisis. I'm an engineer that sees an opportunity, that sees the pieces in place to go ahead and build a company. And you could build it anywhere, but I want to build it in Milwaukee. 